So the the uh, the one who really hit me to like George Floyd, right? It was an Indian. We was uh, I was uh, doing this job, and that's a whole nother story. This is about well, obviously it was. It, matter of fact, the George Floyd thing had it happened to uh, months. So the guy was like, uh, uh, what do you mean Indian? You know, when in, you know, usually there's either operating the store or either, you know, I go to the VA a lot. A lot of my doctors are Indian and shit. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, yeah, you know them guys, them Patel. You know, everyone is named Patel, Doctor Patel. You know, but he was a I'm like this is an Indian truck driver. Yeah, he uh. But obviously, I mean, to me, not obviously to y'all, he, uh, this was, uh, we was moving sensitive equipment. That's why I kind of like this job. I did, but I had to leave it. Uh, that's a whole nother story. But, uh, you know, so it's, it's times you get paid for four hours work, you get paid 80 a or $100, right? And like where, when my truck gets fixed and I go start by working in two weeks, uh, it's going to take me eight hours to make that. Even at fourteen dollars an hour after cut, it's gonna take me, you know, to make a hundred dollars. If I make that much, it might be ninety, but it, that's fine. But I left them guys because they were super liberal. You know, the owner he was a little bit younger than me, so he thought he knew the same thing. Yeah, he was, he was, he was just, just all on the, 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 he, the black shit, yeah, he was black elitist, because he owned the business, and he did, he had the connection, I ain't even heard of this type of shit, you know, probably went to college, you know, normally he'd be the type of dude, you know, that's cool, he cool, he, you know, he's smart dude, he got, he wear glasses, but, he, you know, he's a big dude, but, you know, yeah, kind, kind of the dude, like, in high school, I probably wouldn't have hung with, you know, he, but, like I said, he, years later, he's doing real good, because you, and you knew it, that's why you ain't fuck with him, it's somebody, like I said, somebody you would protect, like, leave, leave him alone, if we, if he, you know, because he look like the type that would show up to the party, but he don't, he don't do what the rest of, you know, he probably dancing and shit with the girls, the rest of us, we trying to look hard, but we still want to get a girl too, but we too busy trying to look hard and shit, you know, like, and it, fit to get the fighting or, or shooting or something, but, he he was just just all into that uh, Democrat elite shit, uh, black elite college and all that shit, and and he was you know mad at Bill Cosby. Well, what about Aaliyah? I'm like, first of all, you're smart. This ain't about that. no seriously. I'm like, as black people, that shit frighten you. Not not oh R Kelly, R Kelly. I take that back. R Kelly. I'm like that shit frighten you that they're trying to try. You know the law. I ain't even I ain't been a lawsuit. I took criminal justice when I was in college. Cause I wanted to be a lawyer, but remember I didn't finish and I told him that. But so I guess that still makes me an alumni. You know UAB. And uh, but the uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, man, even from just watching Matlock or, 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 you know, whatever, you can't try somebody. First of all, her parents gave him permission. They signed the paper. Case closed. So you're trying some emotional shit. That's what we're talking about. They do. No, but he was just too old. It, it, it don't matter. What if it was your daughter? I wouldn't have signed that paper. I wouldn't have left him. What the fuck the, is either? And you can't. So basically, your argument is done the whole time when you try to say, "What if it was your daughter?" You know, that's the dumbest shit in the world. It's like, what the hell? You supposed to get on your daughter? Maybe she's 16. She look, she too old to be getting a whooping. But you know, what the hell you doing sneaking out? You know, the other girls back then, they would, how they met R. Kelly, they 16, it, we knew that then. When we was 14, you knew the 16 year old, they were messing with drug dealers and this and that. And look, they just going crazy this morning. And, uh, you know, they was up the street, where is this? You know, supposedly something happened around the corner. But it's like, uh, they sneaking out to go see him, getting to sneak in the clubs and shit, you know. It was, like I said, when you uh in ninth grade in a black school back then, you know, you know all the girls was messing with drug dealers. The 18 year olds, you see them come, that's how you really seen them with their fancy cars. This is like 1988. Yeah, you see these niggas pull up in a BMW with some rims and boom, you know, one of them old 80s BMWs, but it was, you know, hooked up for us. 
She know they messing with you, you know, damn near breaking your heart because the girl you got a crush on, <laughs> she's 17, plus she's 17. You already 18. You already know. You 14. You not getting none of that anyway. You a freshman. And she like drug dealers. You know, it's like, shit. They, they, uh, you know, the, oh, that was wrong. Oh, that was messed up. It's just nothing you can do about it. You know, the sell dope yourself. And she probably still don't want you because she going to want the, the, this older dude. He's 20. 21, you know, you 14, you just nickel and diamond for somebody else. He probably selling his own dope, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, that, yeah, with R, R. Kelly, and, yeah, it was like, well, what about Aaliyah? Her parents gave it, and I didn't care back then because when Aaliyah was, I, I really didn't care for her. Cause I guess she was younger than me, you know. The, she that's what I'm like, but I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I was TLC generation. They older than me, you know. We was like in tenth grade when ain't too proud to beg, and that was, you know, that was the all over everywhere. Ain't too proud to, you know. Oh yeah, that was that was everybody jam, you know. Skating rink party, you know. But you know, uh, TLC, uh, SWV, them, I'm like, I like them groups. Mary J. Bryce said that there. You know, girls who were, they were older, you know, when we were in high school. So it's like, I, I didn't too much like it. Lady. Plus, you know, she was with Dame Dash and them, you know, that, that's another story. That's when everybody, like, well, first of all, the one, at least R. Kelly married her. But it's like, what well, we, all that Illuminati shit is, is, is even just hood shit. You know, it's Jay-Z and Dame Dash, the one y'all should be using as an example instead of R. Kelly. I don't know what that dummy did. R. Kelly is like, what did he do to mess up the... But he's a dummy. Remember that he's like, R. Kelly can't even read it. I ain't dissing him because of that. I'm a dummy because... I mean, I'm saying he's a dummy because... Uh, he uh, uh, he must have pissed him off. He didn't do something with his Illuminati deal. You know, the uh, the get famous. Even Because there's plenty of people that can sing if you go to church. I used to wonder that all the time when I was like, all these black folk, you know, in your local church, they can sing. And... <laughs> Sang like that, like some of the R&B people. So that that was that's why it's like you got had to do something. And by the time you know you, it's 2003, and that that blood sacrifice DVD was floating around in everybody's hood. Oh, that makes sense. They, you know, okay, because it's like I, I've been using it when I was a kid. Like, hmm, how come some people can't make it? And some people sing better than the goddamn the the. You hear the, the older folks talking about it because they didn't went and seen so and so in concert and they can't sing back then in the 80s, you know, or the 70s. I seen them back in the day, they can't sing in real life. And, and somebody, you know, you got a woman at church, you know, she, she's I mean, one of your family members and they, they just blow the doors off. It's like, why can't they? Then you got people that can't sing even in your, in church and they get up there and it is. This just like some of them, the black movies, it's just like that. And that's how it was in the 80s because you hear your. Your grandma and all of them talking about her get what is she finna do? She get up there or whatever. I don't remember exactly. Cause I know y'all gang stalkers. Y'all try to be super literal. When, when, when was it? What's time? Tell it. I don't fucking know. And I was, I was a kid falling asleep. My thing was, you know, shit, we trying to stay awake. But anyway, back to the whole situation. I didn't get off the day. I didn't got down 10 minutes again in the Dave Chappelle situation. But he tried to tackle David. And ain't Dave kind of tall? And now, remember, a lot of people, we think that's a clone. You know, so I don't I don't know. That. It's 50-50 with me that it ain't that real Dave Chappelle is dead. Because this, you know, this clone, he look kind of, you know, you can tell he, it's with age, you know, and maybe he's been working out. But, you know, the old day, he was skinny. And some people stay skinny till they fucking night. If they little be ninety, they they stay skinny. But you know he he maybe he wanted to get bigger. You know just just for himself. You know work out and shit. I mean like Buster Rhymes was skinny as hell when when he was with leaders of the new school. And now Buster Bus look like he ate Buster Rhymes. You know when they she's like what the hell happened to Buster? You know he swole up and you know thick as hell. Like, he did eight. What's a bus? Oh, they right there. So what is that? One of the mechanics? I mean, not mechanics. You know, the the people working on them, uh, working on the, uh, cause there ain't no house right there, and they on they on the other side, the side of that building right there. So one of the workers fucked himself up on the construction site. 
That's another thing, you know, back back in our days, you know, everybody would be, you know, the women would be out, because it's early in the morning. It could be middle of the night, you know, with rollers on their hair. You know, every, everybody else, everybody, the ambulance came. That's what I'm saying, things, this shit kind of weird. Nowadays, this is a neighborhood, but nobody's outside looking. When I was a kid, you know, especially when we moved down to Birmingham, you know, like I said, the neighborhood looked like this. It, Everybody outside, even in New York, everybody outside, you know, what the hell, but now it's nothing, everybody just, that's what I'm saying, and now they got the fake community, everything is community, the community, the community, it, 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 see, it, that's what I'm saying, it didn't feel natural to us, so, at least us 70s babies, it didn't feel natural, it doesn't, the, all, none of this shit feel natural, it's just fake togetherness, we're together, Black Lives Man, and then Antifa, and then, yeah, yeah. It's all, you know, yeah, the, the, the guys like him and them. It's just, it's just, the whole thing just seems fake. You, well, not seem fake, it's seen. That's how I knew it was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, you know, the gang stalkers, they've been told me, uh, well, I, you know, in the comment section on gang stalker videos, you can just type it in on YouTube. You know, they use, for some reason, they, I don't know, it's like, it, uh, they're familiar. If you cause remember when I first met, I told you I first started noticing and doing research about this something going on in the early 2000s. You know, I had just got in the military, but I was going to the doctor to get help. And I did my own research, and you know, I'm thinking, and I was right. It's witchcraft, but you know, you know, the witch always has the witches always have animals as familiars. And like, and then by 2016, when I find out what this is. Uh, I, I still knew. I said, "Oh, I knew it was a government program." But you know, it was been had been rumors that all, like, most governments were seeking out. You know, that's what Indiana Jones was about when we was kids. You know, the, we didn't realize it then, but as you got older, that's that was the art. The Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, they were see, Hitler was seeking the, the the occult. America, we know America did it too. Uh, you know, just period. You know, using. It, it, most of us nowadays are like, why don't you just tell us? You know, it's like, no, you're not protecting the, oh, it'll blow your mind if you find out this is real. We're not, most of us believe it anyway. So what do you do? Now you're just being funny. You know, nobody's going to get scared of us. Like I said, I think, you know, the reason that they don't expose themselves to witches, and even the, 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 the stupid movies, the one that's supposed to be for the teenage girls, the the with the werewolves and the vampires just couldn't keep their shirts on. You know the yeah the Twilight. It's just, even then, that that has some truth. It's like why? Because they live among us. Remember, I said the reason I'm thinking the reason they did that is because the worst monster is the joke. Remember, it's the joke is is some of the movies is a comedy movie, and not just comedy. Frankenstein. The worst monsters are humans. Once they find out, you know, because the monster or whatever, Frankenstein really was misunderstood. But like, say the Wolfman, yeah, they was terrorizing people. But once the people realize what's really going on is not a real wolf, it's a human hybrid, da, 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 da. what they do? They get together, the villagers, they get their pitchforks and they get their goddamn torches and it's all over. So more than likely the wolves, werewolves learn to goddamn, <laughs> I'm dead serious. They just learn to keep this shit on the low. You know, there's other movies where they tried to show us the vampires. They they just nowadays, you know, they don't try to do it because they know they're they going to get slaughtered. And then, cause the, the real monsters, is, they know better. Cause we going to, oh, what? Where? You like sucking on blood. You like eating people. Okay. You know, they had to find a substitute. But anyway, I, I still keep trying to talk about this Dave Chappelle thing, but... And, uh, and like I said, I keep going over my limit. I want my 10-minute snippets. But anyway.